Oh my god! All right, so you've seen our bikes in the background of a lot of videos. More people than I would expect ask questions about them and want to see more and ask if I'm ever going to do just bike-oriented videos. And I might sprinkle in some here and there, but I figured for now we could at least give like a tour of the bikes. Uh, you saw in Tuesday's video uh, a little bit about my dad's bike. Uh, I think he was kind of shy about it. And then on the flip side of his, we got mine up here on the lift getting torn apart because the charging system took a poop. And uh, I've been putting it off for a while and I drove it over here the other day and I left it with him and he's like, you know what, fuck you, <laughs> we're fixing this. So we got a new stator on the way. Anyway, we're not worrying about that right now, just a quick tour. It is a 1991 Harley Electroglide. Uh, it's at least a classic, I'm not sure if it's a legit ultra classic or not or if someone just threw those badges on there. I got it, I think four years ago on trade for a 2004 soft tail I had. And that soft tail was a, a RevTech special, it was a RevTech frame, RevTech 100 inch motor, uh, six speed trans, or was it five speed? I don't remember, five or six speed transmission. It was a nice, it was a pretty nice bike. The fenders on his bike actually came off that because I did that one kind of like Cholo style first and then I didn't like it because it had the, a really raked front end and I didn't think that front end worked with the Cholo style. So I pulled those fenders and bars and stuff off it and put like more cruisery setup on it. Uh, kind of more bobber, I guess. And the thing looked a whole lot better. And then I eventually saw this thing, saw this thing up for sale and I've got a bad back. So I was like, yes, let's go full grandpa with it. And then I kind of ruined that by lowering it, putting on a lot smaller seat, some 10 inch mini apes. The thing, it's actually still really comfortable. Yeah, this thing, it's a, just a, a nice cruiser. I'm not trying to make this thing a hot rod. This thing's just for cruising around. Uh, got some fishtails on. I think these are 30, I don't remember if these are 33 or 36 inch fishtails, but I definitely wanted them to stick out past the bag because, I mean, I like those Cholo style bikes. And then just a nice LaPera bagger seat. I've thought about going with like a Saddleman seat. Uh, it's just a little bit more sporty looking. If I can find a picture, I'll throw it up. But it'll be like this similar shape, but the back's different. And uh, I don't know. Similar but different. Just enough to make me consider getting it. And then the thing that's the most important to me is putting on different grips. I mean, that's where your hands are the whole time. So that's got to be nice. And then some some fatty whites and aside from that it's pretty basic it is a stock 1340 engine stock uh five speed actually this engine is off a 90 what year was it 92 or 93 soft tail i can't remember but the original engine for this i don't remember if the guy said he blew it up or or what was up but he ended up replacing it so that's not the original engine but it is still a stock evo 1340 and uh, I think it had, what was that, 32,000 miles? And it is lowered about an inch and a half front and back. So just just enough to like tuck it a little more, get it down a little closer to the ground. I like things that are lowered. I'm that guy. But uh, yeah, not a whole lot to talk about. It's just uh, just a nice cruiser.